words behind saying, you know what? Fuck it. This is how I want to dress. I want these piercings. I want these tattoos. And I'm going to make the people buy into who I am as opposed to maybe what a company thinks I'm supposed to look like. No, it's I'm glad that you asked that because that's literally what it is. Like I spent my whole life, you know, I've always gotten piercings because I've always mm-hmm. known I can take them out. And I, I just love piercings. I love the way they look. I always wanted tattoos, but I never got tattoos because I always knew like, oh, well, WWE doesn't really like girls that have tattoos. And, you know, the last thing you don't want to get signed and they want to give you this gimmick, but it doesn't match the tattoos that you have. You know, I never wanted to give myself a reason for WWE to say no to me. So I never got tattoos. Um, and I wanted to cut bangs, but I didn't, you know, I, I didn't want to rock the boat. I didn't want to change. You've got to get all of your looks approved. And I don't know. I just, I felt like I was trying to present what I thought they wanted from me. And I didn't realize, and I've had a couple of people, I remember I had one conversation with um, one of my like Australian mentors. And this was uh, after I had been, straight after I'd been released. And I said to him, like, I don't really know what they want me to be. Like, I don't really know what, maybe it was still, honestly, maybe it was still while I worked there. I was like, I don't know what they want me to be. And he was like, they don't know either, dude. Like, you have to find you. And then you present that and then they go, yeah, we can put that on TV. Yeah. So I feel like I spent a lot of time kind of just being like, well, at some point they'll tell me what they want. Me. You know what I mean? Like they'll, they'll tell me what they want me to be, whatever. And also I was, you know, you're trying to be conventionally attractive because the people that were running the show at the time, you know, I, when I was there, it wasn't Triple H. Triple H wasn't running the show. And I think if Triple H, I think if I looked the way that I do now, then he probably would have loved my look because he likes alternative looking women. He likes Rhea Ripley. He likes Shotzi. Like we've seen that trend. Whereas when I was at WWE in NXT, it was ran by Vince and John Laurinaitis. And you could see that the look that they kind of favored was, you know, the more classic all American looking female. 